We're good now. Oh, except I have to get into the game, don't I? Here I am. I stopped in... Um, where did I stop? San Fran. Just south of San Fran. Possibly the Golden Gate there. And that might be the Presidio. That tall building? Uh, no, but I pinned to San Fran ages ago, so it looks vaguely familiar. Anyways, I have a wide trailer. Cranks out. Big wide loads. You could also put uh, outrigger boards where you buy those little tabs that are underneath the uh, a piece, just underneath the edge, that uh, flip like little right angle tabs that flip out, and then you buy oak oak planks and use them as boards for the wheels to be on. Or you can do this. This weighs more, but it's well, it's different. It's a different solution. It's a tilt trailer too. Now we need to get gas eventually. We've got uh, 825 miles to go and we've got gas for a thousand. Which will not be enough because it's a heavy haul and you gotta knock 30% off. Um, so we'll wait. We'll wait till we pass a gas station. Um, you take that little road there. We've taken it before. We're going down through Santa Cruz and Santa Maria. We're going down the coast road, which is nice. Um, there's no gas stations there, but there probably will be once we get rolling here. Yeah, there's one there. Possibly on the wrong side of the highway, but we'll see when we get there. One there. Barstow. Yeah, it's going to be a nice trip. So uh, there's a new version of uh, this map. Coast to coast, but um, I know if I load it, <clears throat> I'll lose. I'll get relocated and I'll lose my cargo. So I don't want to do that. Oops, can't see. There we go. Oh, I parked overnight there. Nobody seemed to care. <laughs> no tickets. No nothing. Um, have I turned the traffic off? Needs to nope, there we go. Um, sometimes I turn the traffic off to check something or to do something, and then I forget to turn it back on, and I wonder, geez, it's quiet today. Okay, we're gonna go by the bridge. We're gonna go by the oh yeah, okay. Presidium. Well, that Presidium, I think, is before just before the gate bridge. No, it's after. Down below the bridge, it's an it's a base, I think, a naval base. Correct me. Get in here and cor correct me, folks. Not really looking ahead, but um. Oh, I think I have to have a retarder. Oh, yeah, I have to add a retarder transmission to this, even though I don't think these trucks usually have a retarder, so that the, um, so the cruise control won't work, is it has no way to slow, I thought it would just put the Jake on to slow the truck down, it doesn't, going wide here, because there was, Nasty there. Fog, San Francisco fog, that's cool. Um, I want to change my uh, trip advisor. I want to download the um, the one that gives you a little trip advisor thing across the top. I like that. Oops, why are we uh, stopping there? What's our F FPS? Good, 54, 60. 
Um, I've decreased the rain detail from high to medium on this. Because the last time it rained, I noticed my FPS got a lot of hits. Now, often when you add it, when you add a trailer mod. Oops. Pay attention, Gramps. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I can hit you if you want. Feel free to hang out there. So slow. So it's a little early. I might get uh, some of my friends um, kind of coming out of school right about now. Oop, I need to get rid of this Kleenex. I need to. Uh, there. Hot coffee. Too many things there. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of people usually join me for the next hour uh, that are coming from school, and I get people in Europe. I'm still, uh, you know, six hours, eight hours, even eight hours difference here. Just it's 11:47 from wherever you are. should have a little row of clocks, you know, that'd be nice. If I had a row of clocks, you know, they'll look at the way they have clocks in these rooms. Digital clocks that went, um, actually, it'd be cool if I had it on the screen. I've got a time command right now. You can go, uh, you can use the exclamation time and it'll tell you the time here. And the stats command gives you uptime and the name of the game and the time and all sorts of stuff. So I've got uh, 45 minutes to go, so I've got uh, roughly to drive, so it's quarter to four, so 4.30, 4.30, probably uh, I'll get to Flagstaff and then I can, I can experiment with adding adding more, uh, adding, adding the, the newest version of uh, Coast to Coast. thinking um, this trailer comes with five cargos for the wide version and then if you buy another trailer basically uh, the narrower version like without the, the size of the deck extended uh, there's another four cargos now two of them are pretty small but two of them are heavier that I wouldn't mind having also available heavy trailer, the wide trailer, so... Not 
sure how I do that. I don't think I can put both parameters in a single train or like single cargo to say that it goes on both. Maybe I can. I could try that first, I guess. I suspect if you put two definitions, like, you know, trailer equals narrow, trailer equals wide, it's going to take whatever. We're going to go over the line yet, and I think it, yep. It's going to take whatever one's last, so. I think what I have to do is I have to look at whatever folder it is that define the, that um, describes the cargo. Whoop! That would have been a solid tree of it. Look at what, whatever folder describes the cargo and duplicate it. So. You know, if there's a cargo, you know. Bulldozer. I'll duplicate and I'll have another one called Other Bulldozer. My only concern is uh, if the bulldozer that goes on the white, the narrow one, has outrigger boards built in. I can't remember. The outrigger boards are going to come in conflict with sides here but maybe maybe they'll just uh, maybe they'll just get hidden by it or maybe they're easy to delete Stupid little dune buggies. Okay, does the light turn orange? Yeah. I thought he was going to pause right there and let me go. Thanks, and no thanks, buddy. Uh, now I think this is where when they had the, I think this is the road that they had that was the start of the uh, steam contest for ATS to bring cargoes to the scene of the mudslide. Looks familiar. Yeah. So I did a lot of trips back and forth in that road, but I thought I'd do another one. Just to show you guys, and uh, there's only seems to be one of you guys, but that's okay. So I'm supposed to get there by. Well, I got 16 hours, so it'll be a couple of days trip. Monday morning, it's right now, it's Sunday evening. Not very late though, it's okay. Yeah, we'll go like that so we get a <coughs> excuse me, a sense of what's coming. There I'll go back inside. Although, no, we want to be up here because I want to show you the coast. So that's the coast map. California coast. Yeah, see, there's nice wide shoulders here, so I don't really have to worry about carving out uh, the front of somebody's car. It is slower. Okay. Yeah, so 
those cones there just to make the corner a little tighter than one would expect, so it's okay. So here we are going down the coast. The surf down there. I forget, the landslide was in between two bridges, I know that. But that's all I can remember, really. Although I did my ten... whatever. Ten cargoes. However many you had to do. Get the... prize, which was a little plush toy with American flags all over it. this bridge. Oh, some hydro lines. Now the Brazil map is good for hydro lines in the countryside. They do a great job. Makes it look much more realistic. I mean, around villages and stuff, but still, you know. Do we have to be there? We have to be there at... Oops, I can't steer and look at the same time. Monday at 5. Hmm, and we've got 14 hours to go. So, we want to stop when we have 12 hours to go. Actually. Messages here.
sorry, got distracted by a discussion slash argument on the Facebook. Um, always a bad idea. Hmm, well, let's see. Um, I'm gonna have to stop when this gets too dark to appreciate the beauty of the coast. This bridge. Between this bridge and the next bridge is where the um, slide was. We have to find a place where it looks like like here. That could be it. Look at that. See the way everything slid down the down the hill there? Yep, could be there. Yep, yep, and then up here, look up here, it just all slid down, so... That's what this was. Let's do a, um, put the brakes on and do a zero, and, um, that lets us fly. Get way out here and take a picture of this because this may be scenic. I think. That's hard to say, you know. Perhaps that was a slide. Let's pretend it was. Get rid of this. I meant to take a picture. Oh well, never mind. I hit the wrong button. Yep, because there's the other bridge. And it was. It was in between two bridges, so... You can see some cones along the edge. I get left there just to remind you. Bill Bixby Bridge. in our minds. Okay, we're going to be late, but we're going to go like this. Although, uh, we are there on the uh, west coast, so... Yeah, whatever. Make it six. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna get there at 8 p.m. and we're supposed to be there at 5 p.m. So it will be late. Unless we go really, really fast. We might. 8:13. We're not gonna make up a lot of time on this road, though.
Oh, sorry. Just looking at the screen now. Aries, hi. <laughs> I was thinking about a uh, Facebook discussion about how I know somebody and whether it's worth the trouble to actually try to explain to him his flaws in his logic and thinking or just <sighs> move on in life. I think I'll move on in life. So, I'm here with uh, one of those Aussie trailers, custom, custom trailers, custom Aussie trailers, wherever they are. This is the wide version they have. It gives me this. It's a 45 ton scraper. Um, and my regular truck. This is a, this is those Tilton slides that, I, that they had. This is the wide version. Um, now you're not able to, you're not able to crank the sides in and out for different loads. You have to actually buy a different trailer. And there's only five loads that go on this one. Um, this Leap header 934 excavator, and then a. See if I can find it. The scraper that I've got. And then I think it's a combine. And then another excavator, a Volvo excava excavator, 30 ton, and then uh, a drilling machine. So these are fine. There's a, there's four other loads that you can put on the narrow one, uh, and one of them is a heavy one. So I think I got to figure out how to make that available for this trailer. I'll ask the developers, but I think I just have to go in and duplicate duplicate that particular file, give it another name. Use the same image and, and call it, you know, and, and change the pr trailer parameter to be wide as opposed to regular trailer. Okay. Well, and of course, you can't see past here. Oh, thank you. And young lady, more everywhere. Oh, you're teasing me. An ownable logging trailer? No. Sorry, folks, I really have to look at this because I've been waiting for a long time for this uh, discussion this workshop. Ooh, SCS log trailer ownable. You can find an SCS trailer store? Oh, you mean I don't even? It's not even a mod that I have to buy. It comes with the. Um... Oh no, I've subscribed to it. Okay. Um... Nice, nice. Okay, we're good now. Life is good. Oh, okay. Thanks, Reed. Good to know. There's also a new, uh, there's an update that came out just today of Coast to Coast. And I read some people, I read, I looked back in the forum and some people in the SCS forum said that it was crashing and they thought maybe Mantrid, when he'd done the with and without Oregon versions, maybe he'd mix them up. So they were saying they were going to wait until he got home from work today, whatever that is, I think he was in Europe. And see how that worked. But hi, Reed. <laughs> no, I just looked. Yeah, I just looked, and uh, yeah, it says an, it's an SES trailer, but it, it's not an. I mean, it's a it's a mod on the workshop that you have to download, but. So I'm gonna wait until I finish this trip, and then I'm gonna load the new version of. Um, coast to coast and uh, maybe I'll try the logging trailer too you do that although I like this trailer I like my heavy haul yeah 
Okay, so read. So that's the version that he released on the 16th. I don't know the number, but I saw that it, the release date was today. Good to know whether it works or not. I mean, sometimes people load something and it's crashing, but it's incompatibility with another mod. You know, occasionally, so... Oh, well, you said, well, I don't understand that. You haven't had no issue with Coast to Coast, but you can't tell because you can't get it going. Like you can't tell the mod version of the Coast to Coast you have. It should say when you, where you download it, it'll tell you. just remembered Aries you reminded me Ooh. okay it's coming we're good um, I need to go in into my um, I need to go into the stream I did the other day of the uh, lazy truckers multiplayer and do a clip of when you joined up and then disappeared that was pretty funny it has been working before game It has, sorry. Reader, you're talking about the, you got, you've lost me here. Is it, how could you forget about going into Ravine? Reed, are you talking about um, what has been working? The uh, Coast to Coast or the Logging Trailer mod? Okay. So, Reed, are you using the Coast to Coast that was released today, the 16th? Have you tried that yet? Greetings. KJ2. KJ2. <laughs> T-U-U. Greetings, Ohio. I understand you have snow. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of the mid... Middle America has snow. We've dodged the bullet so far here in uh, eastern Ontario. We're going down to... I'm pretty sure we're going down to uh, freezing tonight. So I'm going to have to bring my geranium in off of the back porch. But Leaves are turning, looking quite nice, the maple trees. Well, there's a trucker I follow, uh, Sergey Drachev, and he was, he had a big excavator load that he was going, I think he was going to Ohio. He was going from, uh, possibly from Barrie. He picks a lot of them up, in, a lot of jobs up in Barrie at a Ritchie Brothers auction. And, uh, he got partway there. And they just got socked in for a while. He was okay. I mean, he's usually got um, extra days built in anyways, because he has to wait for permits and stuff for these heavy hauls he does, so... And he's limited sometimes by the day or the time of day when he can drive in a particular state, so... It's not as if he had a, you know, a reefer full of avocados or something. Not as if they grow a lot of avocados in Ontario, I guess. Uh, 
Um, oranges over there? Is that an orange grove? Could be. Um, signal. Signal ahead. No. <laughs> Um, I've never been a big fan of avocado either, but the only thing I've had it with is in guacamole with dip and tequila and beer, so it's sort of an enabler. I know some people have them in salads. Interesting taste and texture. I could turn my headlights off, eh? So, yes, logging trailer. Hmm. Although, you know, be happy with my heavy haul here. And there's a heavy haul in uh, ETS too. Uh, Road Hunter just brought out a um, heavy haul trailer with a, a dozen, anyways, cargos. Nice Friday. The only problem is for me, the cargos all show up um, in the cargo market. They all show up as a green cube with a question mark on it, sitting on top of a, a low boy. And I've seen that before, years ago, and I can't remember what the problem was. So I sent them a, I sent the developer a screenshot and a note admitting it. It could be me. Uh, it's the fattest fruit in the, in the fattest fruit? I guess it's the fattest fruit. Or, or, the, or the or are we doing the fattest fruit in terms of, uh, of fat content? Wife converted you. I'm into craft beer now. Like I say, the new wine, just so many. Ooh, stopping now. So many places uh, experimenting, experimenting with so many different kinds of beer. So, fat content. Oh, mm, yeah. You couldn't go? Jesus. I, I. Sometimes. Ooh, I like that little truck. Look at that yellow truck. Isn't that cute? If you let this guy go, I'm just going to go around you gently, okay? I'm warning you. I can do it. Let him go, and... You're gone. Okay. And he's quite happy to push you out of the way. No. Jesus. Stupid truck. Okay, okay, well. Hmm. Hey, troll boy, how's it going? Right coast to coast. Well, that, I mean, see, peop some people at Q KJ some people had said that it worked and didn't work and they thought maybe it was the version he, they thought he was mixed, had mixed it up and the version that the version that says it doesn't need there's two versions one that needs the DLC Oregon and one that doesn't and there was speculation that he'd mixed the two up I don't know Um, and that might, the KJ's difference might be that he has the only mod, because Reed, I know you and I, we have, like, I don't know, you don't have Canada, but you have Mexico. Although I can't see Mexico. 
confusing the issue. Oh, do I need gas? Shit, I do, you know. I just realized this thing. Did I pass a gas station? Did it pop up saying, you need gas? Dang, I did, you know. I passed several of them. There. There. Just blithely. Butsing along. Um. Okay, where's the closest gas now? Either up here. I can go there. And then I go this way. I don't really go much out of my way. I got them off for... Um, Three twenty-seven, and I've got four seventy to go. Oh, that's only four seventy. Hmm. I, I gonna, well, I'm gonna stall it after. I'll do. I'll, I'll log off after and, and try it, KJ. So it's worth a. Um, I'm gonna get gas here. I'm gonna assume that I can get as far as. Oops. I'm going to assume that I can get as far as um, Barstow. Okay. I'll just ignore the gas gauge and everything. We'll just put a piece of tape over it. Hmm. Strange. Strange. So anyways, welcome viewers. And if you're a follower, welcome. Thank you very much for following. Uh, if you've subscribed with your Amazon Prime, yay, and you get a little, uh, you know. Well, it says it says I have. Um, it says I have enough for 326 miles, and the total job only is 466. Now the thing is, I'm pulling a heavy load, so. You gotta knock 30% off what they say, anyways. Yeah, I had one I had to fly. I think, yeah, I already saw that. I ran out, I did not even have enough to teleport to the gas station and then drive in. I had to teleport right to the pump. And then I got jammed, because I think I was pulling it. Was I pulling my quad then? Or a double? I got jammed, anyways. Oh, look at these guys, but they're not moving. Oh, yes, of course. The oil industry has been put out of business due to the new coal industry. Yeah, it was a quad side dump. And that was that was the one that um, really gave me an FPS hint, hit. I tried to double from the same people. Um, I got a double dump. <laughs> double set of trailers, I think. I think. Ah, KJ, thanks very much for the follow. I've got a, uh, yeah, tipper double from the same guys, this thing. And not nearly as much hit of a hit. I got a reefer from the Lazy Truckers. I got this cheetah, which is a from somebody else, which takes containers. I got the dangerous quad. And I've got a triple with two P's, flat deck. And then I've got this thing. And they've got an in-game single flatbed. So, and I'll be adding, yay. A logging truck. Yay. I'm going to look at that as soon as I finish this. I'm getting 2.4 miles per gallon. Uh, oops, sorry. Bridge work. Ooh, and tumbleweeds. Oh, bridge work and lane narrows. You could have said that. Jerks. Yep. 
he also could have mentioned that there's no actual bridge. Well, they're building a bridge. See, there's the two little, they're starting very small. There's, there's the two little columns. And the rest of the bridge is it's prefab, it's in those boxes. So once they unpack those boxes, it'll all unfold and it'll actually be a bridge. It's gonna be cool. <laughs> Almost as good as your old Mercury. Yeah. Well in my younger days up north even up north where it was cost a little more to truck it into northern Ontario. I'm, I think we're paying uh, well those gallons. We're paying uh, 25 cents a gallon. A few gallons would be great for cruising up and down the main drag for a while so we would get my buddy's car his mother's car and we pool our money and put 50 cents or 75 cents worth of gas in and away we go. Of course, it wasn't self-serve, but usually it was one of our friends doing the pump, so we go, 50 cents worth, please. <laughs> okay, so you got coast to coast and Mexico to load fine. It is, oh, perhaps you mean it is coast to coast, camp, comma, Mexico load fine by itself. Okay. Oh. Yet, uh, KJ is okay with coast to coast by itself, so. Don't know, don't know. But I would take, keep a look on the forum. Maybe check the SCS forum, you know, later on. Yes, I'm. I'm I'm thinking if there is an intermittent thing, maybe some will say, yeah, use this or that, or here's the fix. Finishing my coffee. It's only my second one of the day, but... Sometimes I've started late, and then I it carries on too late, and I wonder why I wake up in the middle of the night. Oh, bad coast to coast. Okay. Wait, I guess. Wait, I guess. Let's see what happens. Now the coast to coast is interesting, uh, KJ, and he's um, it's it's mostly a one man show. Uh, if the newest, uh, the most improved part, I guess, is down around Louisiana, um, the middle of the U.S. is pretty boring because because it's flat in real life. Uh, somebody went through the Texas area and put in a whole shitload of little county roads. Because they could, because it's so flat it was easy to do. So there's variety there, but it still still looks the same. But and There's the Canada Dream map. Uh, Canada, which has even less detail than the coast-to-coast -coast map. But and the, Mexico, the Mexico map is probably the... Uh, if you're going to look for an add-on for North America... Mexico map is probably the best one. I've got a link to it, I think. Yeah, I think I've got a link to it on my uh, Discord. And it hooks in. It does not need coast to coast. You can hook the Mexico map into the bottom of California. That's got the biggest. The biggest variety. A lot of good detail. Some of like, or like Oregon, like it's almost as good as Oregon. So. Hmm. He probably will add those as he gets there. What is there in Michigan? Um, let me look, people. Let's go look at Michigan. Yeah, 
you're right there's not much there is there we got uh um you've got 75 you don't have 41 at all where is 41 I don't think they have 41 on the map at all. But yeah, there's a lot. Um, and you can cross here, right, to the Sioux. Well, this looks weird the way he's drawn the map. But you could go to the top of Michigan, and you could cross, cross the Sioux St. Marie. Oh, 41 comes up through, up through Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's an area that's lacking for at least at least an access road. What are we doing here? We're doing, we got 100 and, 162 miles to go. So it's, it's faded away fairly quickly, but... See, I'm gonna see if you put the wrong where no DLC was. I think I know what you mean. Like I said, so people suspect that he'd swap the two. But yeah, try the other one. Try the wrong one and see if it works. Ah, across the Mackinac Bridge, yeah. Good point, Reed. So I won't load coast to coast until I get your report. Because it works for KJ and doesn't work for you. And that's what I saw on the forum. People saying it doesn't work and somebody said it works fine. Oops. Gentle foot on the gas, still. We got two point six. Jesus, what happened? Somebody, somebody obviously, uh, somebody obviously was closer in the mirror than they appeared. I don't have enough gas to. Um, um, I don't know. Is that the latest one, Reed? Two point six, the latest version of uh, Coast to Coast. And, uh, I think the link. Uh, there's a link on the uh, SCS forum. What we got here. Oh, 103 miles. But I didn't want to. Uh, I, I thought I could squeeze in. I didn't really want to stop and have to accelerate again at that. Not that ramp. <laughs> oh, look, gas station. Oh, look. Let's go at it like this way. Let's take a bit of a cut. We're okay. We'll just crunch the hell out of this. 
Just those signs that they put at those gas stations are cleverly designed to cut, catch your load if you don't cut the corner right. As such, it's... Uh, well, it'll be close. Hmm. Yep. Yep, somewhere you got a mod conflict with, or a nod conflict. The nod conflict, whereas you agree that you have a conflict uh, somewhere. Oh, sorry, nod conflict. Um, that's the way I write when I'm trying to reach over the wheel here and hit the keyboard at the same time. And I haven't turned the lights on it. And my keyboard, because um, my keyboard is missing uh, uh, N, M, O, and L. Are missing the uh, color, and I don't really, I don't touch type. They're missing the paint. It was like you know, a nine dollar keyboard, so okay, let's go straight like this. We're clear, okay. Oh, in fact, no, it uh, went over too much. There we go, going like this. Jeez. Uh oh. Are we truly, truly stuck here? Jeez, we might be. What have we done here? What am I stuck on? Well, maybe it's too high. I don't know. Differential lock? Lift an axle? Okay. Well, we always have plan B. Turn the traffic off. Yeah, I guess I just hit the box around it. Dang. <laughs> Oops. I don't want to go too far. Let's turn this down a bit. There we go. And the... Uh, Scroll key controls how fast you fly. I've discovered. I'm gonna go here. And like that. F9. We're good. Hey, trouble, you're back. How's your day going? Oop, let's turn the traffic back on just to be reasonable here, eh? Oops. Uh, and if you set traffic higher than one, it's um, it's fun, apparently. And G traffic zero is off. G traffic one is on. But I didn't realize you can actually do. Yes, I'm doing single player still. Um. Yes. Well, I've only got the only convoys that I've got to, to join up with, uh, Trollboy, are the the ones on are the ones that uh, Lacey Truckers do on Saturday and Sunday. Because uh, I've got I, like I have maps that I want to explore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have maps that I wanted to explore, but um, well, that's what I'm doing when I stream. I 
I suppose I could do. I suppose I could do a multiplayer once a week where I go on myself as multiplayer. Announce it as a multiplayer. Pick a route. You don't decide whether on ATS or ETS. Pick a route. Uh, pick a... Um, do something like... like Take the take the dry take a dry van that or a reefer or something that you can buy in the game and don't worry about a, a uh, don't worry about a destination for cargo you're just going empty and that way you can it's easy to plot easier to plot it out on the map and then just pick somewhere out on the map like go from you know explore. Um, on down the coast of California or something and plan a trip that's going to be a couple hours long and then just go and people are welcome to join um, and if they want to get in the chat then they just have to send me a discord request or no yeah like take my invite join my discount discord hmm uh. No, I don't mean now, but yes. I'm I'm in the middle of a I'm I'm still Troll Boy, see I'm still in a single player. With a bunch of people watching. So I can't really abandon ship here. I don't want to abandon ship, I want to get the flagstaff. But uh, after I get the flagstaff I wanna buy a logging trailer. See if I can, and then uh Maybe I'll do it for days today. Tuesday. So I could do that tomorrow night. I could do it Wednesday. Ah, uh, yeah, try streaming it. It's fun to stream. Um, I, I, I started off using my, um, look at the biplane. My GTX 750 board, I use the, um, oh, what's it called? Shadow Play or whatever. There's built in software that does the streaming for you. I started off using that, but uh, it, it really, I mean, it, it makes your board work pretty hard. And then I, I upgraded to a 1050 and I started using OBS Studio. But it certainly is easiest to start if you just use the onboard software on your card. It's easy in terms of, yeah, it, it's simpler, but it's not necessarily better because, like I said, not a lot of horsepower. This way, OBS Studio takes that over. Then I got OBS Studio, and then I got Streamlabs, and then I got Streamlabs chat box, and the Streamlabs labels, and you know, the bells and whistles just keep adding up. <laughs> but it's been an incremental process. So. Okay, well, well, I didn't. Know, okay, so I didn't understand what you meant. You said you didn't know whether you could stream it. Oh, 
I would guess if you're streaming the base game without any, without mods, since mods can often sh slow you down, especially trailer mods it seems, then you might have better odds. I'm just guessing there. So we're 15 minutes away. Look at that biplane's up there. Okay. Hiding behind my mirror. Hmm. Oh, I can. Oh, shit, I didn't want to bypass. I wanted a way. I haven't had a way station yet, and I wanted a way just to compare. Yeah. Well, I can't really. I can't really play... I'm not sure whether my laptop would run ATS. And... I am i can't play with the keyboard. Phys physically, I just... I can't manage the, de the dexterity. I have... I've never ha really had the coordination, and now I don't have the dexterity either, so... So in a way, it's a good thing that I can't play it with my laptop, because when I go to visit my girlfriend in Toronto, I bring my laptop, but I I don't stream when I'm there. So it's just as well for my relationship that I can't do it with a laptop. I suppose I could stream some simpler game. I don't know. Pong or something. I could do that. Not that anybody knows what Pong is, but... change this and add a um, add a retarder to the transmission not that the trucks have retarders in, in North America but um, so that then the speed control will work properly You would, Aries. I thought you would know. I caught a guy doing multi, multi. Um, I can't remember who it was, but I caught a guy doing multiplayer last night. Um, I think he's forty years old, and he's an IT. He's an IT programmer for a pipe company or something, and lives in Wyoming or something. Interesting guy, and the guys on a stream really sounded interesting, and he does, he says he does convoy. Often, and it, it looked like it would be a nice convoy to join, so I asked for it, I said, I'd like to join them. I said, oh yeah, 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 so what's your Discord? So, oh yeah, okay, so like, they don't, he didn't have it posted there, so he gave me a Discord invite, but I think the only way you get the chat for convoys is if you're a subscriber. It said private convoy chat for subscribers only. So I don't know whether that's a separate chat or any of the chats. If it's any of them, well, I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to pay, you know, five a month to go on convoys with them. Or whatever it is. I know I have a free Amazon Prime, but I often use that up. So I'll check it out. I'll check it out. If it looks good, then I'll let people know. I'll add it to my list of multiplayers to convoy with. So this is just gas and... is it? 
there a way skill? I think there is a way skill. There is a way skill. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Let's pull through and scale. We know the truck is nine. Let's see what it should be. It should be... Uh, trailer is 10. 10 tons. The truck is 9. That's 19. And the load is... The load is... Wrong button. I just damaged my trailer again. 45. Jesus, what the hell? It's in the box again. Oops, and now I'm hitting the car. Behind me? I'm not having much luck with this thing, am I? There we go. 63, so that was 49. Yeah, 49, 59, 69, and it says 63, so close. Yeah, except our trailer's kind of mushed. Not sure what happens to trailers. I know in the um, in the game. Anybody know yet? Um, if you can damage, oh yeah, sorry. You can damage your truck as much as you want. The only thing that happens is the you have to keep restarting the engine. The more you damage the truck. And you'll hear the gears grind, but I don't think you miss gears. But I'm wondering what happens to the trailer. Uh, it should be harder to pull, if anything. You know, maybe you wreck a wheel or something. In real life, if you damage a trailer, I don't know, um, I guess you could blow a tire. Or knock a, you know, bend a rim and then lose all the air in, in a tire. And you could whack the lights, knock the lights off. Uh, lose an airline. But, but um, um, then the brakes would just lock up. Actually, it'd be nice then if, if they had it, you lose an airline, so you just lose air pressure. So, braking is less effective because you keep losing air pressure, so every once in a while you have to stop and actually just let the brakes pump up. Hmm. Could try it. Um, um, I guess you damage the trailer just by, you can just keep. A trailer up, just keep backing into stuff. Body three, chassis wheels. So you would you'd want to just keep backing into something because you get the chassis up to like well 100 percent. See, we got truck damage, but that's only the tires, and trailer is tires. But I don't think ATS cares about tires. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I was thinking not lose air, we just get a leak. So you, so your air just keeps dropping because air pressure is a thing in this game somewhere down there, right? The gauge. So your air pressure could just keep failing away, and then you'd find yourself. Um, now, in fact, what happens in the game actually is when the when your air pressure is low. The 
parking brake goes on and the game doesn't let you start, but I'm not sure what would happen if the air pressure went low while you're driving. Again, we could do a test there. We'd have to be going down a big hill. Just start pumping the brakes. Uh, it's got to be a pretty big hill with a pretty big load, but I'm going up a hill. Maybe I'll go down a hill on the other side. We'll see. Be a long hill. You can't pump them and then and gas it and then pump them with gas because every time you gas it, you charge the brakes back up. And you can't just turn the tra trailer brakes on because um, that'll stop you. Pretty sure, won't it? Where are my trailer brakes? X. Possibly. Uh, what are my trailer brakes here? X. Hmm. They don't seem to go on when you're driving. Not so as I'd notice. No. Going too fast. Here's what I mean. See if you look at the brake pressure there. You know what? Ah. You get going low enough, the parking brake goes on. Okay, sorry folks. <laughs> My, we'll just put the flashes on here. So, I'm not sure whether the brakes became, and it'd be hard to tell if they became any more, any less effective, but. In this game, anyways, what happens if you pump the brakes too much going down a hill? Do you eventually lose brake pressure and have to run away and have to try the ramp? No. The game puts on your parking brake. Magically. There's enough pressure for the parking brake and puts that on and stops you dead until you pump, pump up the volume, so... Is that what's in real life? Really? If you pump the brakes going down a hill too much and you lose air pressure on a real truck, the, the parking brake gets set. Oh. However, if you're pumping the brakes too much going down a real hill and you lose air pressure, and you're also heating the brakes up like hell, then when the parking brake gets set, the parking brake's an air brake. Uses the same brake pads. And if they're already overheated and hot as hell, you're, you're still screwed. But isn't the parking brake just an air brake that, that uses the same What does the parking brake actuate? We 
got a formerly known as uh, as as the trucker Aries Dragon here, folks. So but that's my I uh, guess what I'm wondering with you know the parking brake is set, but I mean in a car the parking brake when you put it on actually is a little cog that goes into the transmission, and uh, if you jam it on when you're moving too fast, you can brake off. Uh, so all the brakes on your truck, okay. And I guess that's my only concern. If you were going down a steep hill with too much weight and you weren't using the jake properly and you got going too fast, and so now you're pumping the air brakes, trying to, trying to, I guess, pumping them, trying to avoid holding them on and overheating the brakes. But if you have overheated the brakes, when the air brake suddenly goes on, the brakes are overheated and they're not going to slow you down very well anyways. So... flashers are my flashers on they were that's why the uh, Joe did that tr truck that passed the fire truck that passed me oh yeah red's the truck yellow's the trailer but the foot works both does it not there at 8 o'clock at night and I thought we were going to be late. Apparently are dinking around or whatever and maybe not going as fast as we should. Has extended that a little bit. High beams. I should find a light mod for this uh, truck too because I can't do roof lights. can't light this truck up like an Australian road train. Oh, we actually may get there before midnight. In other news, I was not able to start my goat stew today because I slept in and then butzed about and realized I did not have all the ingredients to, to marinate it, as in I needed garlic garlic vinegar and soy sauce and I had no garlic so by the time I got dressed, showered on my coffee, emailed, blah blah blah, I get up to the store. It was too late to marinate so we'll get up early tomorrow, we'll marinate the goat and then we'll cook it and then tomorrow night's supper will be goat stew. Uh, what is not a North American thing? Goat stew? Lights on the roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I can see it in Australia. Yeah. Okay, I have marker lights. I can see it in Australia with those big open spaces that you need, you know, a ton of lights so you can light, you know, spot the kangaroos far away. Uh, but Europe, they're big in Europe, and I'm not sure why they're big in Europe, because they've got a lot of twisty roads and stuff. They, got, they don't know. Maybe they just like the bling of, of, of roof lights in Europe. I mean, they do have some Autobahns and stuff like that, which are quite straight, where you just get running. Maybe that's it. I know it's my Scania. I've got front lights. I've got two lights in the front and two lights on the roof. And I click them on and it's pretty good. Yeah, when you get out in the country, I guess, if it's a, you know, if it's a little twisted, twisty count country road, well, it doesn't help, but 
if you're just out there on uh, out there on the highway in the middle of nowhere again you want to light it up like a staff let's go to bike staff let's try not to damage the trailer again so thanks for viewing folks you're welcome to chat if you want or just lurk but if you're a follower thanks for following if you want to subscribe for with your Amazon Prime that's even better will get a gift. Terrible gifts. Or you can watch commercials and put bits in the jar. Oh yeah, there's enough room there. We'll see. Did we get a crash bike vehicle? No, we did not. Uh, got somebody annoyed. Freeway ends. I love those signs. Like in, um... Dang. What's that movie with Sandra Bullock where she's uh, in a bus? And they're in L.A. or something and the freeway ends and they... Almost go off the end of the freeway? Speed. She was good in that. Did a lot of stuff. And then she hung out with that biker, Jesse somebody. Oop. Little legs there. Why are we getting those legs? Yeah, the jump on the incomplete for you, it just goes off the end of the world. Didn't they do a second one too? Speed 2? Did. It couldn't have been very good, so I certainly don't remember Speed 2. It's kind of a uh, bonus cruise ship. Yeah. I'm betting it wasn't as good because it's sort of the concept is. Otto Cuna for Jason Patrick, yes. I mean, not not quite, not as not as uh, not as exciting as I uh, on a on a bus whipping through a city. They're very visceral. You just right there, cruise ship. It's yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, easy peasy. Date. Ooh, do you think Do we get any money left? Oh yeah, okay, we had a lot to begin with, but oh well. <laughs> okay, so uh, we are, oops, no we don't want to quit. We just want to drive. So, folks, here we are. Somewhat stuck. Look it out. We have our own trailer, right? So that so we have to get fixed somewhere. I know we're cheating with a drone. Every trucker ha should have a drone with a automatic drone that you just deploy. You push a button on that on the dash drone. It pops open the top. A drone gets launched or catapulted forward, depending on how fast you're going, and uh, flies above your truck. <laughs> and uh, it shows it up on a camera, on the dash.
Okay, uh, we're going to go to the, oh, we were going here. We're going to the profiles. Okay, new mods. Like a log trailer. Okay. Oh, we got the Kenworth 900B too, because uh, I want to add another axle, but I can't add in a lot of horsepower, and, and I lose this uh, paint job, so I might not do it. Looks nicer to have another axle when you're doing these kick-ass jobs, but that one's got a little, a nice little Jeep behind the truck. Okay, I'll be done. There, that's that one sip that'll wake me up at 2 a.m. They have a lot of um, of their own paint jobs that they had, the GTM trucks. Um, a lot of different designs, geometric type things, but none of the, uh, don't support most of it. I guess because you have to do, a, you have to redo you have to get the get it and then redo it. Uh, trailer dealer. Uh, we are where are we? Oh. It's right in the standard trailer. Ooh, okay. Okay, let's customize this. What do you get? Tell me what you want, what you really, really, really want. Be nice if they had a trailer, one of those locking trailers where the middle uh, is just like a bar and it folds up for transporting. Those are pretty cool. Uh, so you can have this three axle with the last one goes up, or you can have this two ax two, two axles and the front one goes up. Uh, I like the look of the three axles. Uh, custom color, or we can do it a deep green, sort of like our truck is. Sort of. Showing, is it? And what can we do? Tires, and that's it? Meh, tires aren't exciting. Confirm. Purchase. Put it up here. Okay. And let's use it. Uh, okay, trailer manager. Let's unuse this one. Goes back to our garage, and let's um, let's use this one. Okay. Wait. Let's uh, now. Let's do a couple of tricks here. Um, first of all, let's uh, let's make it bright out because we want to see this trailer when we have it. Oh, and look, the game crashed. Okay, let's pretend that that was not from the logging trailer.
<laughs> Try again here. Because sometimes when I play around in the mod manager, the game dies. seem to have my trailer here. Interesting. I guess the game wants me to do this again. Uh, oh, sorry, I gotta go through this thing. Trailer manager. Get, get rid of that one. Dismiss it. Okay. And I don't see the... Um, I guess the mod is broken. This is not even there. The game has reverted to... Well, shit. That's too bad. I want to use that thing. It would be spawned in my garage. Now, um, I could go all the way back to my garage and pick it up. Could, you know, or or I could, um, I could do this too. Get up, fly. Fly away, fly away, little birdie. And then land, little birdie. Oh, look. When you fly and then land, uh, your trailer automatically appears. Right. So, um, I want to pick up a job here. We're not going to do the... Um, what do we got in Flagstaff? Ah, you see? We got this thing going to Stockton. We got this thing going to Arizona. This thing going to Uraka. These things going to Arizona, Arizona, and drilling machine going to Spokane, Washington. Fresno, Gulfport. Um, I think I want to take the biggest one. I'm greedy. That takes me back to California. Nothing back to Oregon. That'd be nice. But long drive to get it, though. But it's on the way, so we could do that. Uh, or maybe only usable in Oregon? Hmm. Well, yeah, that's intriguing. Let, go, let me go back here and look at the look at the workshop. See if there was fine print. This log trader only can find an it has two axles set up, two axles, three credits, and made by Get I Enjoy. Uh, a lot of people just saying, yeah, we're an on gun, nice mod, thanks for showing. Logs only available out of certain areas in Oregon, not all cities. Mm, okay. Nice job, mod. I've got no loads. Thank you for the mod. I do it. Don't know. Don't know. Um, I'll try it. No, like there's no no complaints in the workshop, so I'll try it after. I'll take this load 
and I'll do this load and then uh, I'll go have some supper. This one here. Either that. Uh, which one? This one or which one looks more interesting? This one is a half hour trip. Or this thing. That's a longer trip. So which excavator? The Lee Putter 934? 934? Yeah, there's a good accent. Sounded like a German from uh, Newfoundland. I think the Lee Putter. Hmm? I just want to see how that fits on this. Yeah, go big or go home. Exactly. So we'll take the Lee Putter. Uh, we could find it. No, we're not going to find there. Somebody building a house. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to be an ad adult. Okay, KJ2. Thanks for fo thanks for the follow and thanks for for hanging along here. Um, we'll be back on and uh, join my Discord if you want. Uh, there's a chat there. That's. Um, this thing. There's a bunch of uh, text text channels. Do do do. Take a gear. Parking bank. There we go. Take it off the head. Don't need the high beams. Coming out, guys. Oh, 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 oh. No, that's gonna be bad because. I don't want him to let me go. No, no, please don't let me go. Shit, I don't want you to let me go. Because I won't get around you. Hello. Might be sorry I gave that up, but still. As long as you guys get out of there. Oops, I can't even see. Did I go wide enough? I think I did, you know? I think I like sort of rocketed across the intersection. But that guy definitely stopped far enough back, so we're good. Thank you. Okay, uh, do we need gas? Uh, oh, oh, we need to get repaired, don't we? Sort of. Need the gas up. When in doubt, gas up. And this is not the one kind of one where you get locked in, so we're good here. on the way. I think so. We've done it. We called the road service. Uh, dee, 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 dee. There's lots of mechanics here. So, you know, unless there's one here. No. Or in here. So, No, we might as well go here and get fixed. We're not very broken, but uh, now let's see which one's going to be nicer. This one. Yep. Oops. Decent angle here. I 
Oh, the other one's a dealership. Well, actually, dealership would have a bigger yard. Although this this uh, this manages the jackknife quite nicely. <laughs> Sometimes the trainers crank around a little more than I think you really would in real life without losing ripping hoses off or something or riding up on the fenders or whatever one does when one goes too far and pretends they're a swift driver. Yeah, yeah, even with the roof, I, oh yeah. They'd get caught up in the trailer. And you don't really need uh, mud flaps until you hit an inspection station and then, ooh. That's a bad thing. And then a deep doo-doo. Got at the corner, we just went over the. At the back, we went over the curb just a bit. Okay. Oh, and an R. I want to put an R on my transmission. Truck maintenance. Good driver always keeps her truck in top condition, especially when they have insurance. So. Trailer damage, 2000. Co insurance. Not really co insurance, that's just. I don't know, is that deductible? Oh, really? Oh, okay. That's good to know then. I'll be okay. Now, what was I going to do? No, I was not going to configure. <laughs> Repair. We're all fixed. We're good. Uh, the truck, I was going to change the transmission. I've got a 18-speed 3.23 differential. 18-speed. Spicer. The only spicers I've got. Let's search for Spicer. Uh, eighteen, 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 eighteen. Oh, there's none. There's none with a retarder. Hmm. <laughs> And I know North American trucks don't use a retarder, but it seems that the speed control in this game only works if you have a retarder. When you do automatic speed, with the automatic speed. Um, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Good point then. Just hook them off. Okay, so um, 18. Are there any 18s with? The Eaton Fullers have retarders? Yes, and a 10. And a 13. There we go. 18, 3.25. Uh, now, which is the same? Difference 3.25, I got a 3.23, the final ratio is 0.73, and I've got a 0.68. Nah, we're good enough. We're good enough. Good enough. Uh, okay, take this one. Thank you. Eaton. Eaton, I want. Um, so we're good. Need these big things. 
don't think there's anything else I would need to buy. I don't need more clearance lights. I got more than enough. I know you could say you never can have enough clearance lights, but I don't think I can add any to the front without. I can put a bull bar, I think, but then I lose. I think if I put a bull bar. Uh, oh, this bumper. If I put this bumper, then I lose the banner. And I can't put, it's not as if I can put lights all along this bumper, so. Good. We just do this, and like you said, chew the hell out of the mud flaps. Oh, I, oh, I can't take it off. I was thinking I should take that rack off, but you can't really take it off. I oh, know, that's. I need that there to protect me in case I jam on the brakes and the 47 ton excavator comes rolling forward, because there's only four chains on the whole thing in this game. We're good. We've got that indestructible aluminum rack to catch the excavator. But we are safe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, buddy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, buddy. I need to get a spinner in real life here. For my wheel. wonder where I could get one. Uh, Canadian Tire, I guess. I can get a Canadian Tire and I can get a spinner for my wheel here. Clamp it on. One that has a um, a pinup girl on it in a bathing suit, in a one-piece bathing suit, one of those uh, 1950s. <laughs> uh, one set of markers are not legal. Which ones? Well, the ones the ones on the very top. ones on the cab or the ones on the top of the sleeper? Oh! Uh, okay, I, well I guess they'd be, they'd be legal. They'd be, so they would be legal if there was no sleeper. guessing I can see the I can see the rationale of the of the um, regulation Albuquerque I love Albuquerque it's such the bugs bunny name oh the Laura one should be all the way across oh Could have, I could have done that. I didn't want to be uh, blinded by the light, but I could do that next time I'm stopped. Because I want to be up to code. If I can. Within the game. Which reminds me. said, lifting an axle. Always press the wrong button here. Thank you. I lifted an axle because I'm empty. I assume I can do that. Two three two. What do you mean two three two? Um, I don't think I can put two three two on top. I think it's um. 
I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots. Oh, which would be two, three, two. Yes, all the way across, all seven slots. <coughs> two on each side, a gap and three in the middle, yeah, but there's only seven on this. That They don't give you enough marker lights. I'm pretty sure I have seven, so that would be two, and two, and then three, which is seven, so I can't do a gap. They would need to give you nine slots. Two, two, two. Ah. Uh, I can't do two, two, two because it's an odd number. <laughs> I'll do all the way across, which is seven. off now. I started driving IRL uh, with um, headlights decades ago. I noticed the comps in Ontario started doing it decades ago as a safety measure. I mean, we didn't have running lights on cars back then. But I started driving with my on and mine on where people were saying, oh, you're going to cost you so much, you're going to burn your lights out. And, uh, blah, blah to save money and I was figured no I want to be visible because it helps not only do your headlights come on but your taillights come on and even now even though I have running lights when I start the car um, I automatically turn on headlights oh. in a long day you're gonna put your husky in your harness and Went out? Oh, you're going out or went out? Went out on your longboard. Your longboard? Jesus, I thought you were old. <laughs> Although, you did put your dog in the harness, so... <laughs> Older. For some reason, I thought you were. Well, I don't know. I don't know what old is. My mother was um, always maintained that she was in middle age. She wasn't in old age. And then we said, "Mom, we're we're moving up. We can't be middle age until you move out of middle age." So, <laughs> so. she may have admitted when she was 95 that she was getting on there. Yeah, huskies like to pull. It's just their thing. They just please let me pull you. Yes. I uh, I like dogs, and I couldn't have a dog. I think my brother was allergic. Oh, so we had dogs a few times, but then we couldn't because. Either my brother was allergic or my mother got tired of cleaning up and pretended. But I always maintained that when I grew up and had my own place, I'd get a dog. But I always had jobs where I had to travel or I worked weird shifts and stuff like this. And I was on my own. And, and then we had little kids and never did get a dog. Okay, so we're going to come in here, we're going to see what this honking big load looks like when we put it on a truck. Little 
looked like a hunk of big load, I guess. Where did you come from? Why are you going so fast? Uh, HMS, whatever HMS is. It's our cargo place. So let's try and let's try to not damage the trailer this time. Ooh, I think it's that one there. I think it's that one there. That looks kind of nice. We can take that one. Liebherr, 934. Ah, and it's saying, please turn around and back into that spot and we'll load your trailer. No, it's not going to happen. I'm too old for that. I'm past 40. I'm way past 40. So, there we go. Oh, they even cleaned it, which is good. Not that we have to go across the border, but if we... Oh, no. Love that one. Uh, it's a clean version of it. See what I mean? Two chains there. Two chains on the front. Not even a strap under the boom. I think what they probably used is double-sided sticky tape to hold the boom down. Um, it'd be nice if they put bits and pieces on that upper, upper part of the uh, trailer. You know, like a little something covered with a tarpaul or something like there was extras. Yeah, at least they crossed chain. I know. And are they um, I'm trying to look. Sorry, I'm going to have to cheat here and look. There's a guy working on that one. Okay, so they cross-chained and they pulled forward, which is good. And they cross-chained and they pulled backwards, which is good. But, uh... No, 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 well, they don't ha I know, I know, I noticed that, but it's okay. And as I said, I think they've got double-sided sticky tape under the bucket, under the end there. Like that stuff you use for carpets and that. So we're good. We're cool. What's the worst that can happen? Be nice if they added that in the game, eh? Mod so that when you when you went too fast, your load would come off. <laughs> so the truck wouldn't necessarily tip. You'd be good, but oh look, there's my uh, load down in that ditch. Ooh, uh, I'm really screwed. Uh, all the front chains go back, the front back to go forward. Uh, yeah, but I don't think they'd have the room to do that, would they? I don't think they'd have room to do that. But yeah, they should be pulling against each other too. airport there. There's a plane there. So what's our time? Our time is going to be uh, half an hour, so we'll be done at 6.30 or so. Oh, and for those of us who uh, enjoy listening to the radio while you're driving, uh, somebody somebody uh, on the forum for ETS posted uh, update links for all the CBC or for a lot of CBC Radio 1 and 2 and Radio Canada stations across Canada. If you look up on my um, I, I posted a link up on, up on my Discord. So CBC 1, you listen to CBC 1 for um, I think he's got like Halifax, Ottawa, maybe Winnipeg. And Oops. Okay. Winnipeg and uh, Vancouver, maybe five, maybe a couple more. And he's got a few Radio Two, which is the classical station, and then a few stations from a couple from uh, Quebec, in 
French. Oh, so you have that tilt load. So, so, um... That was my question here. Uh, you said it went up with hydraulics. Um, so somehow it's got to go with hydraulics, but but. So does the does the front of the trailer just by that flag? Is that the part that like cranks up? And then somehow the, the some of those wheels end up being off the ground too. I guess I could look one up on Fontaine site or not on Fontaine has them, but yeah, it looks like actually yes, you're right. It looks like it's joined there. So it looks like and maybe there's supposed to be a little motor in there or something, so it looks like it cranks up there. Wait that join just in front of my, my flag on the trailer. And if that cranked up, you know, a few feet, then the back is gonna go back might stick out more farther in the back, but uh, but why, I guess I wonder why that. Oh, and the wheels slide also. Um. Did the wheels slide automatically or do you have to slide them? Like you adjust the, uh, you know, the, like the way you adjust the wheels on a, on a drive hand, you pull a pin and you lock the trailer wheels and drive back or forward. So I assume they're manual like that. As you can see the brake behind the step. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, PTO. Yeah, there's uh, there's a... Um, this guy, Sergey, that I'm wa I was watching, he had a... Uh, his first trailer from Font Fontaine it was Fontaine had a um, had a Honda little Honda that ran the um, ran a hydraulics for the trailer and he had a hell of a lot of trouble with this little Honda motor especially driving in Canada wintertime so on his truck when he bought his uh, his new truck he specified uh, and it's a K-Whopper I think he, he specified a wet line like off the PTO so by then he had a good idea exactly what he wanted to want it so he's in there telling the salesman no no I want this no I don't want that yes I want this So I'm wondering why this type of uh, tilt and load, as opposed to uh, RGN, like a removable gooseneck, where you drop the front of the trailer, disconnect the gooseneck, drive away, load the trailer, and then go back, connect the gooseneck, and then crank it up again. I'm just... Uh, I'm just wondering if one was better or worse than the other. Sorry, I asked too many questions there. Which which is better for these kind of loads, the uh, RGN? Coming through, coming through. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, I would think that you can get a um, uh, heavier trailer. Like a more capacity. <laughs> oh, sorry. So a new, new upload. Because when we were talking earlier, uh, Reed, there was an upload to um, Coast to Coast that came out today. So now you're saying there's another one that came out today. Good. That's what I thought would happen. Is he would go home and he would realize that his upload. There was someone was saying it was probably late at night. You know, and you just you finished a job and you just um, you know assemble the files. Fire them up there and like, oh shit. You're checking from work and people are saying, it's broken, it's broken. Get back in the truck here and drive for a while in that truck. Ooh, let's go slow though, just in case. Not a lot of depth perception here. Yeah, the uh, the narrow version of these has uh, lighter loads. There's two kinds of this trailer. There's the um, whatever they call the wide and the normal, whatever. This wide one, wide one has the sides cranked out. I assume you just yeah, you crank that out basically. And then they have another version of the trailer where the sides are not cranked out. And uh, they have lighter loads. Loads. Ah, okay, Reed. Let me know if you can, uh, yeah, let me know if you can do the... Because it wasn't as if, I mean, I could understand if there were the only cargoes available for it were logs in Oregon. You know, I'm okay with that. I can do a go to all the time and go to or somewhere in Oregon, pick up the logs, and then drive somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> but from, from what it looked like when I used it, it, it crashed the game, and then when I reloaded the game, it was before I had bought the log trailer. Maybe it's the order I did things, or, you know, maybe something else happened. But. Uh, I'm trying to think what's for supper. Supper is... Oh, I should have gone into the weigh scale. Although, we've had problems on the weigh scale. Supper is uh, chilly, I think. Um, I had chili the other day out of a can from Stag. We'd bought it for the cod. And it was like. Not a huge can. Soup can worth, sort of. It, it was it was enough to fill fill a bowl, but not not a hell of a lot. But um, they rated the sodium, and they were careful to rate it for half the can, because if you ate the whole can, which I did, because like I said, it wasn't a lot, it gave you two times 31, 62 percent of your daily sodium. So, yummy. And again, um, these companies use salt for flavor and preservation. Mostly flavor. It did taste really good. But they could have cut, you know, cut the salt by 20%. They might have had to add more other spices, which was more expensive, I guess. So. But, um... 
let's see, I guess I could, uh, <laughs> and W. Yeah, we're coming over here, and hopefully nobody's there. I don't see trailer crash, so we're good. Here, ooh. I was watching the birds. Oh well. Just keep going now. Speaking of trailer damage. I'm not sure why everybody stopped, but the AI sometimes stops. Like what what, what was there? I wasn't obviously I wasn't paying attention. I heard a plane and I saw the bird and I said is it a bird? It's a plane, it's Superman. And suddenly the guys in front of me were stopped. I think they may have done it just to be annoying. Not that that ever happens in this game, but... A and W uh, and... No. We used to go to A and W for breakfast. Maybe it was Harvey's. Ages, ages ago, before McDonald's and everybody else had breakfast. Um, nothing special here. Uh, oh, another way scale. Oh, but this is going to be a government-sanctioned one. Barstow? so we don't get caught at the next way station. On how, are, how are we for gas, too? I think we're good for gas. We've got 455 miles to go, and we've got gas for... Really? 1,700. So... Even knock a 30% of that off. 1200 or so. We're good. Let's zoom with our eyeballs here. Cut that guy off. Don't stop. See? That's what they do. Looky, looky. Ooh, a load of pipes came off. That sucks. Hopefully we're okay. It looks like they just fell off the side. Notice the lights are not here, Aries. But what, what, what are we? Forty seven, so fifty seven, sixty seven, so we should be like maybe sixty nine. Just scale out at 69. You can get Timmy's over there, right? 63. <laughs> okay. 66. <laughs> Split the difference there. Um, you can get Timmy's coffee. Um, oh, they have, I mean, they have Timmy's over there somewhere? In the UK? Just not near you. As I was saying, you can get Timmy's coffee and make your own Timmy's. And they don't make their, they don't bake their muffins and donuts there anymore, so quite as fresh, but 
I'm not a fan of the Timmy's flavor. So, I'm not a big Timmy's fan, but if you like the Timmy's flavor, they are consistent. Uh, they you can get the same same coffee everywhere, so they do a good job of that. So, so you can buy the specific, you know, beans or as ground coffee in, in here in Canada, anyways. could brew your own Timmy's. And if there are any expats around you or whatever, I mean, they could, uh, yeah, may not be the same. Ooh, biplane right over me. Crop duster. Um, I need to take a quick break and get a get a snack. How much time do I have left to drive? I want to finish this trip and then I'll be gone for a bit. Uh, what screen to look at? That one. Uh, nine hours. Oh, that's three. That's twenty-seven. So half an hour. So I'll be done like at six o'clock here. I'll be done at six thirty or so. But I need a uh, a snack and a drink of water. I'm sure once I stand up, I'll realize I have to have a bio break too so don't go away folks um i'll be right back i'll now do my be right back thing too
Sure, back again. Um, Timmy's. Yeah, I've never tried. Um, never tried a good ground coffee. Um, maybe the problem is. Uh, maybe they're careful not to uh, make it too good because they want you to come into their store. So they want it to taste like Timmy's, but not happening there. Hmm. Got a lot of balloons off there, that's nice. the plane. Ooh, that's exciting. Huh. Well, you'd think a road would be a nice place to land. So, when I finish up, I think I'll, uh, I'll drive over to the beer store. some cheap beer. I'll see what they have on sale. Need to let Nimeria. Nimeria. What an interesting name. Nimeria. Oh, it's from Game of Thrones. Okay. Oh. Well, welcome, folks. Uh, thank you for... Um, welcome, viewers. And uh, if you want to chat, you're welcome to. And if you want to lurk, that's fine. If you're a follower, thank you. You can subscribe and get prizes. You can drop coins off. You can join my Discord text channel there. Oh, a train. Nice. Yep, I can hear that train. A Doppler somewhere, are they? Okay, we're pulling over. Nice car we're trying to pull in. And then I think we're taking this next exit, so we'll just sit here. And we won't. I'll pull over. No, it's no, it's not an exit. It's just a curve on the road. I thought that we were taking an exit. And another stop. The AI is stopping a lot on the road. Oh, there's a. <clears throat> there seemed to be a cop behind it. That would do it. And oh, we're going to the repair shop now our lights to adjust the roof lights. I want to break just enough going up this hill. I want to kill all our momentum. Kill that person in front of us. Or kill that person in red and white, black and white car. Definite lack of uh, sense of humor. You do that. Wouldn't like that either. <laughs> sure. Pretty sure that would not go over well. Oh, we might have gone 
up a bit on the curb there, but we're good. They have all the stores in these places, eh? Bitumen? Want to go to the Bitumen store? No, we're good. Um, did I click the stop sign? Oops. Kind of a different garage. Different than some of the others. Let me out. Let me in. Definitely a wall there. Open 24 hours. Oh, that'll, that won't be cheap. Okay. Do, 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 do. Cabin lights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, so I can I can do two, three, and two. I'm sorry, I doubted you, my friend. Two. Two. Three. Oops, missed one. How did we miss one? Horns. Cabin lights. There we go. Two, three, and two. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks better then. Because I, I, I thought I, ha I thought I was going to have to do a solid line across, and that was like, oh, that's going to be annoying. Now, are we good on the roof? We're good on the top there? What do we got? We got five of them up on top. Is it the same thing on the roof? And then that one. I'm not sure where I am now. Oops, I missed one. <sighs> I completely screwed them up now. So that one, two, that one, off, that one, off, that one on, that one on, that one off, that one off. Go down here. There we go. Two, three, and two. Two, three, and two. Ah, we are beautiful now. Now, about these, um, we got horns. We could do more horns. Maybe not. We could, we could add another horn. Oh no, you can only have two horns. Okay. Uh, how about these? How about these flashers? These uh, beacons? Are they roof beacons a thing? We don't want a turbo wing. They look just dopey. I think these beacons are good. Uh, maybe a 
like to select. What's the bug deflector look like from inside? Yeah, maybe a bug deflector too. Yeah, we can't do light bars here though. Can't do light bars. Only thing they have for beacon is this double radiant, but Okay, lights on. Ooh, two, three, and two, two, three, and two. Good. Ah, oh, yes, that's gonna look very bling night. Okay. Yeah, we were delivering a load. I forgot what we were doing here. New, um, it? Mostly. tires. Jeez, we can certainly turn this nicely, can't you? Um, when I had, um, now what load did I have? I think when I was had those, um, tipper trailers. I had a tipper trailer, and I think it was the trailers might have been 20 tons each, and I had 40 tons of gravel in it. Does that sound right? Anyways, um, I really had um, I had an understeer program problem. It was kind of neat because it was realistic. I had so much weight on my well, the weight was too far back. Yes, and uh, the front front axle was a little light on the road. It's sort of <laughs> we're touching the road, but we're floating a bit. Uh, when you tromped on the gas to start off, you'd lift the front end, and then it would be light on the road. You wouldn't be able to turn, so step in the gas, back off. Get the wheels down, turn more, step in the gas, back off. Kind of fun. I'll have to look for light bars. Oh, see, we didn't take any signs out that time. More people. We're good. So we're, and we're still looking at too many clocks here. Seven. I think the beer starts open till nine or ten, so we're good. But yeah, I think we get some beer, just some light, cheap beer, maybe Pilsner, which is from old style Pilsner. Pilsner originally from Western Canada. Cheap and light. And I can have beer and chili. And watch some more of a Netflix Winona Earp. Kind of a cool story. It's the kind of story I wish I would have written. Yeah, the weight to see the weight was yeah, the weight was pushing the um, front up because the fifth wheel was probably a little too far back, but the game doesn't know that. And then when you step on the gas, when you're trying to start off, the torque lifts the front end of a car or a truck or anything. <laughs> kind of funny when it happened. It was like, I know exactly what's happening and why. Um, I had it happen with another truck I was using in the game, and I went in. You can go in and you can add weight to the front axle of the truck. So you can go in and mod. If you have the depth files, you can go in and add, you know, 20% or whatever to the front axle, and then there you are grabbing. 
if you can't get a setback axle. Oop, running out of road. Um, can you get tankers yet? SCS? No, they just have have the have the various kinds of vans and the flatbeds. So. Um, one of the mods I have, I think the Aussie mod gives me tankers. Supposed to get there. Supposed to get there at uh, well, 11:53 p.m. So it'll be dark-ish. Maybe we'll see shooting stars. Um, yeah. And I'm gonna have to think about doing a multiplayer run um, because I was thinking of doing multiplayer in conjunction with Lazy Truckers, but then not everybody is a Lazy Trucker member. Ooh, cop there. Big tree T pretext led me. Oh, strobes in the bull bar. Oh, well, that'd be a disco coming down the highway. <laughs> Can you get a disco ball inside your... Uh... I wonder if somebody does that. Instead of this Instead of this uh, little soccer ball, I wonder if you can get a disco ball inside the truck. <laughs> I know you can get a Christmas tree uh, next to here, like between the seats. And you can get a little Christmas tree that fits on the dash. And you can also get, I've seen curtains on the top of the window that have uh, those little LED Christmas lights on the edge of them. So. I'll have to think of some themes. We've got uh, Halloween coming, so maybe I should find... There's, I mean, a, I know there's a Halloween paint pack. I know what they have, the, the Halloween... Uh, there's a Halloween paint pack that I should... I think I have it, maybe. I should get. And then I'm sure there's Halloween mods. You know, I can put a spinner... I can put a spinner on my wheel that looks like a um, pumpkin. I can put pumpkins up in the dash. I'm betting. Uh, there might be. Um, well, we don't. Really, there might be. There's not. I was gonna say there's not an option for an open like a open trailer. An open trailer like with um, racks along the side that you could load pumpkins into. Not sure what you would call that kind of trailer, but you know they kind of mean. We don't have the option for that, but it'd be nice if there was one of those and one of the cargoes was at the end, or maybe all through October was pumpkins. And then if somebody else did a cargo in December of Christmas. Christmas trees that you could put on the flatbed. Do these guys just raced across the road? <laughs> yeah, Halloween is fun. Well, it used to be, uh, well, when my kids were growing up, Halloween was a lot of fun. It's still fun, but. Sometimes I just go to the pub, and sometimes I stay home and give out candies. It's just the last time it was just me in the. Um, I was the only one. It's a, it's a, you know, basement, main, and top, a triplex. But there's lots of kids in the neighborhood, but other two tenants weren't into it. Buy some candies, put them in a big bowl. Ooh and awe when the kids come. Ooh, you're such a scary little whatever. You gotta guess right because some kids get pretty offended if you get it wrong. And of course in Canada, it's um, you know we got frost forecast a couple of nights this week, so 
it's a couple of weeks till Halloween. We could have kids, um, you know, kids are going to be in snowsuits. So in Canada, in the colder regions of Canada, especially Halloween uh, costumes, have to be something that you can wear as part of your winter gear. That'd be fun. No humbug. No humbug. Oops, I'm hanging over the back. Uh, I just noticed I'm hanging over the side of the road a bit there. used to driving with my hood ornament and I can't see it anymore because of the bug deflector. We'll be taking that off. We may be taking it off by hitting somebody with it. He was uh, pumping his brakes there. Just saying, so hopping. I'm stopped, I'm stopped, and I'm also riding a little uh, over. Could be centered more. Soon we don't get across. snoring. <laughs> I was teasing my girlfriend. Uh, she lives in Toronto and we get together once once a month. Take turns. A week up here, then a week down there. And she's um, she gets insomnia sometimes and uh, we were away for a week at a cottage. And she did not have an insomnia there so I was speculating that with Perhaps my snoring. Maybe I just need to send her a tape of my snoring. <laughs> no, she didn't. I'm not that close. I'm still over. See, I'm still over. I'm not, um... Over like this. How's that? Can't tell. Uh, better, I think. Yeah, that's better. in the uh, mirror. I'm, um, yeah, like that. Oh, now I can't tuck in closer. I have to change. Let me in. Not. <sighs> Could go faster in your sports car? Apparently not. Jerk. Jerk. Everybody turning? Everybody's turning. Good. Kirk's gone. Good thing. Over a bit on this corner here. Oop. 
lake every once in a while. I'm not sure why. Just fades away. Oop, 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 oop. Okay, are we good there? Are we going to take out any signs? No. But here, take out any... Oh, damn. what happens is somebody takes pity on you, especially if you just keep edging forward like this. They shouldn't really. They do have the right of way, but... Get over, you know. They're slowing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Was I out in the lane? Perhaps. Okay. Okay. So we could do that. So when do you want to do it? Like tomorrow night? Oh, wait a minute. You're UK. Um... So I guess you want to do it in the afternoon my afternoon. It's it's 6.40 here. It's almost 7 o'clock here, so... So... Uh, multiplayer ATS, um, no, no DLCs or Oregon exploration, explore Oregon. Heavy haul, no. Can't, well, we can sort of do heavy haul, but I think you know what I think I'll I think I'll do to keep it simple. I think I'll say just buy a trailer. If you bring an empty trailer, then you can uh, plot the course. I don't know. People can figure it out. But I'm not sure if anybody, everybody has a heavy haul or. The heavy haul or the Oregon. So, but I can do ATS. I'll do an ATS and I'll do. Um, you know, through Arizona or something. One of the newer, one of the newer ones. And I'll try to make it like an hour, an hour and a bit, whatever. You're on my server, are you? Um, Cali Coast is fun too, going up the coast. Yeah. Um, you've got my Discord, right? So, yeah. Yeah, the Cali Coast is nice. do that just to see how many people are keen um, my flashes are probably on because I can see it reflecting off that truck
Okay, no, I'll pick something. <laughs> uh, that's probably why that truck hadn't passed me, because he was waiting for me to change lanes, so... Anyways, thanks for thanks for hanging in, uh, Aries, and we'll uh, catch it tomorrow. Okay, stream it too. Okay. in 10 minutes. <coughs> there we go. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the bugs, the bugs, the bug scraper off. Too used to driving with the hood, with the hood badge at the front. Oh, wait a minute. I had, I did the uh, cruise control here now, so let's see the um, so why is that not working? <clears throat> Excuse me. I have the, um, I have the, I think I have the R. Your box. Twenty two O three one eight B X V P I do not. Or at least it doesn't show with the R, but I think I've got the R. Should work. Should work. Here's the option. Let me check that I've got it set. But I'm pretty sure you're supposed to. Pardon me, folks. Um, automatic retarder, automatic engine brake. No. Oh. <coughs> hmm. Be, should be slowing me down. I've got the speed for those up for 50, so it should it's supposed to actively slow me down to uh, 50 by it. I should be seeing it there on the dash. There's a retarder coming on. Oh, I bet you I did not get it. Okay. We'll check that after, folks, when we get to the garage to make sure I've got the, the one with the retarder. I could probably pull up and pass him too. 
coming. No, nobody that close to worry about it. Now I can blind him with the light. So you normally would wait until you pass somebody. He would have his high beams on. Possibly, but he would turn them off. Turn yours on. Flash your... We flash your running lights. Well, and when he flashes you... Yep, yep. Trying to get distracted. I'm thinking about doing a con what would we evolve doing convoy? We wanted to do convoys. No. I'm trying one. Okay. What we got? Get a bus. That's the problem. Oh, well, we also have a speed limit. <coughs> Part of the problem. Getting close, getting close, an hour and 20 minutes, which is near minutes in this game. Three, in fact. Gonna be late again. ETA Wednesday, 12 a.m., and we would prefer to be there. Oh, Wednesday afternoon. So we could have changed the clock. Actually, made it daytime, driven in the daytime, and seen boring desert rather than boring highway. this I'm gonna have to go in and just look at the euro and US servers and see what time it is the game on the server F both for uh, American well, ETS okay, so I want to do a job that's gonna be well, you know an hour-long job is gonna be hours in the game, which is that's on the route, doesn't it? thinking of it to myself so I can do a flatbed uh, owned owned trailer flatbed and um, either come empty or pick a cargo um, don't forget to repair and gas up and turn off uh, random uh, events and police that's all oops over here.
actually up here. Sort of not blocking. Oh, we're good. People are totally good with where I'm at. I'm good too. Seven of you little are seven. I got five. Oops. Okay, so we'll go to the beer store and then um, I'll think about a convoy. Well, this looks nice. It's slow. Clean, but sometimes you have to have clean if you're going across a border. That could be part of your contract negotiations. So. Added more lights on top, so. Two, three, two, yeah, looks nice. It does look nice. There's a repair place right across the road, so I can hop right across and check my transmission. Thank you. Thanks, man. Very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very, very much. Uh, oh, I know where they're going to want me to go. They're going to want me to go right in there. Let's try that. I've done that some times. It looks wider, actually. Usually narrower than that, I thought. You know, that might actually be doable. Yeah. Seems narrower and it's harder to squeeze in and it doesn't work and you get pissed. This time I don't. Well, look at this. We're not late. We made money. Oh, what do we have here? If we want another load, although I think I want to do the logging, not the logging. I'm gonna upgrade my map. Spin around there. We don't spin around very easily, but it does. After a fashion. Traffic? Oh. Late at night. I think. Okay, let's just check this transmission here. Did not get the R after all that. <laughs> XBP 18 3.25. This one. XBP 18. That one. Okay. Oh, we probably need to repair the truck. Just because. Tires? Oh yeah, stuff. Stuff happened. Okay. Now, job market. I can do it now. I gotta go off and do something, but we still doing that one another day.
Talk to them. We've got. That's the one we had. We can do a volatile excavator too, which goes nowhere. Excuse me. Sacramento. San Francisco. We've got. We'll think about it. Anyways, thanks very much for viewing. Uh, thanks for following. Uh, thanks for uh, so long. And thanks for all the fish. Um, I'll be on, on later, and I think I'm going to do, yeah, 4 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow. I think I'll do, try to do, Connor Boy. So, ta-ta for now.